We are living in the loneliest generation in history, and it keeps getting worse. The single biggest predictor of your health outcomes in life, it's the number of friends. It's more than quitting smoking. It's more than going to the gym. It's more than stopping drinking. I've never been able to manifest a mutual friendship. Never even had a cup of coffee in a cafe without my anxiety kicking in. I've never had a friend that I would just spend time with. A normal day for me is wake up around 12, figure out something I'm going to eat immediately, TV, video games, bed. It's not a lot of activity. 30% of young people now report being lonely and not having friends. Most teen girls, 57%, say they experience persistent sadness or hopelessness. More than 60% of young men are single and the numbers just keep growing. I have a theory. The cause behind the rise of loneliness and depression is directly linked to the rise of social media. And today, that's what I will set out to prove. Let's start with an excellent study. It's called Worldwide Increases in Adolescent Loneliness. And what they found was that between 2012 to 2018, the rates of high school students reporting loneliness nearly doubled. You may be asking yourself, aren't there other factors here? Maybe there was uh, economic issues, maybe family size. And so what they did was that they studied all these other factors, family size, uh, economic problems, income inequality, fertility rate, and they used each of them as a predictor for loneliness. And what they found was that the predictor that most correlated with school loneliness was internet usage. Now I have a question for you. What increased vastly between 2012 to 2018 in conjunction with this trend? You don't know? It's internet addiction and social media usage, of course. This is something that not a lot of people are talking about, but internet usage, especially excessive internet usage, is directly linked to depression, it's directly linked to loneliness. And why is that? It's because you're spending all day inside. You're, you're watching life pass you by as, as, as things go on, right? And this is the reason behind loneliness, I feel like. Uh, community is dead. How many of your own neighbors do you know? How many people outside do you know around you? How many people in your neighborhood do you speak to on a regular basis? Now imagine you're a kid growing up today. This is something that probably happened to many of you guys, right? You grow up and you're handed a tablet and that tablet raises you, right? Your parents are busy, they're doing something else. So you grow up from that tablet, right? And then when you graduate from the tablet, you get to the phone. When you get to the phone, you get the laptop and all of that. You're incredibly stimulated. Your dopamine receptors are basically fried. Once again, how powerful you are. This is way out of our league. Is this the power of a god? And all you see is uh, videos of people with expensive cars, expensive watches, your own age, like 15, starting venture capital funded companies, um, getting crazy $100 million funding for some new AI startup or something. And you're 14 wondering, why don't I have a, a pink Bugatti? <laughs> why don't I have a brown Bugatti at this age, right? Like, and why is that happening? It's because they're overexposed and overstimulated with videos of people way more successful than them, doing way better than them on social media. If you suddenly start seeing billionaires and millionaires everywhere, how are you going to be content with your own life, right? How are you going to be content with the things around you, the relationships you have, the people you know, the things you do? And this is how the average child is growing up these days, right? Why go outside and touch grass if you could just jump right back to your phone, right? Or you could just jump right back to your computer. You could just jump right back into the game. So contrast this with like a, a childhood back in the 90s where kids would be outside, they'd be playing on their block, they'd be knowing all the neighborhood kids. That just doesn't happen these days. Ah, uh, the amateurs kicking in. Ball. <laughs> oh, we just had some. <laughs> we had the best chili you ever taste. Yeah, the yep. most gas ever. <laughs> Why you be running a 4.0? 4. That's four point oh four. Well, if it was if it these days, kids are raised by screens, and all they ever see are screens, and they're watching YouTube shorts and video game content and all these other things more than ever. So hopefully, from this, you understand why I believe social media is the leading cause of depression, is the leading cause of loneliness, which is why lowering your screen time is the best thing you can do in this modern age to be productive, to not be lonely and to just live a fulfilling life.